vamos a la finca Terrales de acá de Patulún, Suchitepeques, de Guatemala. Araceli Castillo last visited this coffee farm 25 years ago. In the late 1980s, she was part of what locals called the Medication Brigades, a mobile oncocercosis research and education troop touting a promising new medicine called ivermectin to control the disease. Today, Araceli reconnects to the past through Arturo Espaderos, the administrator at Los Torales. Guatemala was once the most endemic country in Latin America for onchocerciasis, or river blindness, a disease transmitted by relentless bites from the black flies that breed in streams and rivers. Those same streams provide irrigation for farmers, so coffee pickers and their families who live nearby were hit hard by the disease. Araceli remembers what it looked like, especially in the children. Primero sus ojos no eran como blancos, sino que era amarillo. La piel con mucha resequedad y como erupciones. Guatemala had a tremendous tradition in uh, finding the way to control and to eliminate this disease. The first initial studies were done here in Guatemala and specifically in this finca, Tarrales, where we are right now. This is just about ready. After his father died, a young Andy Burge took over as owner of Finca Torales. And the farm families became part of his family. So he was on board to cooperate with the research teams, who aimed to get Onco under control. It was difficult in the beginning. Difficult because convincing people to take ivermectin was not an easy sell, after prior drugs had caused serious side effects. Andy took the pills along with the farm families. I showed him as, as an example that you could take it, it wasn't a problem. In fact, it was a solution. By 2012, Guatemala, along with Colombia, Ecuador, and Mexico could celebrate because they stopped transmission of river blindness disease through semi-annual treatments of ivermectin donated worldwide by Merck as Mectizan and health education efforts sponsored by the Carter Center's Oncocerciasis Elimination Program for the Americas. It's 2013 and Araceli is back where she started. Then she didn't know what the outcome of the trials and research would be. Now she does. And things look a little different down on the farm. Tras eso hay una historia de vida que es muy gratificante recordar.